Good morning. Welcome to Bible study. In the last several weeks, we have been reading stories and teachings from the Bible that encourage us to care for all people. We have one more lesson this week. Today, we're going to be reading Jesus' teaching from the book of Matthew. It's in chapter 25. There, Jesus told his friends and followers the importance of caring for every person. And when we show love to all people, it's like we are showing love to God. So I want you to think about how you and your family show love to people. And then after the story, I'm going to come back and share with you some ways our church family is sharing love and doing things that Jesus taught us to do. Let's read our story. Caring for those in need, Matthew 25, 31 through 46. The Son of Man will come in glory, and he will be like a king sitting on a throne. All the people of the world will come to hear him. To some people he will say, You are blessed, for I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Those people will ask the king, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty and give you food and water? When did we welcome you or give you clothing? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? The king will answer, When you cared for those who needed you, you cared for me. And then the king will say to the other people, You have treated me badly. I was hungry, and you didn't give me food. I was thirsty, and you didn't give me anything to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. I was naked, and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick, and you didn't take care of me. I was in prison, and you didn't visit me. Those people will ask the king, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison? When did we not take care of you? And the king will answer, When you did not take care of others who needed you, that is when you did not take care of me. So how does our church provide food and drink and clothing for those who need it? How do we welcome people and take care of the sick and visit people who are in prison? Let's go in and find out. When I went in the atrium, I found Clark and Beverly Pennell along with their dog. They were there picking up food people from our church had donated. And they were taking it to share with people in our community who are hungry or who are having a harder time buying food right now during the quarantine. Let's take a walk around the building and see what else we can find. And now I'm in the commons. This is a place where we gather and play and hang out and have snacks but there's more that happens in here as well. If I turn just a little bit, you'll see behind me this door. This door here is one of our clothing closets. We have two of them here at the church, one for men and one for women. And every Thursday, when we, how, when we welcome people to our church for lunch at the crossroads, one of the things that they can do is come by our clothing closet and get some clothes or shoes or a jacket and whatever 
they need that we have to use. This is one way that we help clothe people, just as Jesus' teaching taught us. And now, I want to show you something in the Sherman Center. Do you know where this is? Many of your parents come here for Bible study on Sunday mornings, and this is also where we come to do snacks and science at Vacation Bible School. I'm going to take you into the snack room and tell you something that happens here. We've added in this room this kitchen area back here. There's a sink and a refrigerator, and in that window there's a closet. I see some soup and some toilet paper and some other things. Back there is where we have a food pantry. And every week on Thursdays during lunch at the crossroads, anyone who needs food to take with them so they have food to eat that week can come to our food pantry. And this is where we keep our food pantry so we can help feed the hungry, just like Jesus told us to. So I was able to help show you ways that we clothe people and feed people. But there were other things on that list, too, that our church does that I want to tell you about. Jesus said, I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. Do you know that we help provide clean water for our friends in Cuba? That's a project our church has been a part of for years. Jesus said, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I think about all the ways that we welcome people. We invite all sorts of different groups to come and meet in our church so that they can be well and so that they can do good and important work. I think about the guests who come and visit our church. And how we say hello, and we're so glad you're here to them as we welcome them to worship with us. I think about immigrant students who come each summer and spend a week in our area. And we give them a place to stay, and we build relationships, and we show them our beautiful community, and we help them visit colleges as they're thinking about where they may go to school in a few years. It's a way that we say welcome. Jesus said, I was sick and you took care of me. Ministers and others from our church visit in the hospital. We go and see people who are sick. We visit and pray with them before surgery. We call them on the phone and write letters to let them know we care about them. Some people in our church help give people a ride to the doctor who may need it. There are lots of ways our church cares for the sick. The last thing that Jesus said in this teaching was, I was in prison and you visited me. Have you heard about our prison ministry? We have a wonderful group of people from our church who go and visit in the prisons in our area. Some of them go and spend a weekend at a retreat called Kairos. Others go once or twice a month to have a worship service with women who are in prison. Others are able to pick up women from the prison and bring them to our church for a Sunday to join us for worship. We have wonderful people who are doing wonderful work visiting those people who are in prison to remind them that they are loved. There is a church that loves them and most importantly, that God loves them. Let's continue to think about ways we, on our own and with our families, and even with other children in our church, 
can help show this kind of love in our community so that we can be the kind of people that Jesus has taught us to be, showing love to all, no matter what, and no matter where. Because Jesus loves us all, Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves you, no matter what and always. Thank you for joining me for Bible study, and I will see you next week.